Like old friends, Beatrice and Lena greet one another with a special joy. Hey. Yes, see you. <laughs> but only they know how extraordinary and difficult their journey has been. So has the awful experience you guys shared affected your interest in travel at all? No. It, no. Bonded yeah, forever, Lena is catching up with Beatrice in her hometown of Sao Paulo. Brazil is far less safe than Australia, but reflecting on last year's attack, Beatrice and Lena both blame the man, Roman Hines, not the place. I still like Australia, definitely. I still love it. Uh, and yeah, this hasn't changed what I feel for Australia because I know it has nothing to do with Australia. It's just a bad man. I was unlucky that I met him and it has nothing to do with the country, really. I think that the way that everyone helped me there, that's what makes Australia so special, you know, because this could happen anywhere, but maybe people wouldn't have supported me as much as the Australians did with me. The brutal attack showed the worst Australia can offer, a depraved man making the most of a lonely and wild stretch of coast. But it also revealed the very best of human spirit, incredible strength and bravery. So we're driving down, we're just looking for a silver full drive. No one knows Salt Creek better than Adam Stewart, and so police recruited him to help catch Roman Hines, who was on the run. The hunter was now the hunted. We'd only gone about a K, and we could see this vehicle parked up on the sand hill. Um, I guess that's when everything got really real, because it already was, but now it's like, there he is. Hines takes off, but then gets stuck in the sand dunes. He's just sitting there with his hands on the wheels and he's just stared at us. So you're sitting in your car? Yeah, I'm sitting in my at car. Him. Yeah, I'm sitting there, I'm hands on gear stick, foot's on accelerator, foot's on clutch, because we don't know what he's going to do. We don't know if he's going to pull something out the window, we don't know if he's going to take off. If he moved an inch, he was just going to get T-boned. Like, that was, uh, it was ending there. It was ending one way or another. We were just going to... Well, you were just going to ram him? Yeah. <laughs> this stops it. This was the critical and anxious moment they'd all anticipated. Tuck your legs up, OK? Yeah. And if you kick me, I'm going to belt you, all right? But when it finally came, as this footage of his arrest shows, the fight had gone out of Roman Hines. The sun had set on his freedom and the terror he'd wielded on this beach. When he put those cuffs on him, the, you couldn't imagine what it was like to have that relief, to know that that guy's there, he's now got the cuffs on, there's no one else. Like, and he can't hurt anyone else, not today. Hines had already done enough damage. Both girls were flown to hospital with Lena unconscious for the trip. She wasn't conscious, like really full of blood, and I was feeling so guilty to see her like that because I invited her for the trip. I put her in that situation, you know, and I feel like, oh my God, she's going to be so mad at me. She's never going to forgive me. And I was all the time crying because I was so concerned about her. But once we got into the hospital, I just uh, I hold her hands. I held her hands and then she said, Beatrice, with such a sweet voice. And in that moment, I knew, like, she forgave me. There was no moment where I was ever angry with her. I was just glad that I could, like, I could be there. Like, I could help her out. I could save us. And so there was, like, no need to be angry, really. 
Beatrice, when you look at Lena, do you see your saviour? Yeah, I do. <laughs> of course, like, uh, I think that's basically the first thing that I told her, like, yeah, that yeah. she saved my life, you know. So, like, she saved me, for sure. As news of the attack travelled around Australia, Heinz's ex-girlfriend, Sylvia Clark, was devastated. She instantly recognised his car and remembered his plans to go to Salt Creek. I was shocked, absolutely shocked. Then I went into a meltdown and I thought if I'd have said something, these girls would have been saved because they probably would have locked him up. Did you have any doubt at that point that he had done what he was being accused of? No doubt at all. I, I just thank God, and that's the first thing in my mind, thank God that there was someone on the beach because there's no way in this world those girls would have got away otherwise. I have no doubt in my mind that he would have killed them. Police found a library of sadistic porn on Heinz's computer. They also convinced Sylvia to come forward as a witness after she told them he raped her. But at trial, while the judge agreed there had been a violent sexual encounter, she didn't accept it was rape. When the judge came down with the decision... Oh. I don't think there's a word that I could find or create to describe what that did to me. Do they think I'd put those bruises on myself? Because I didn't go to the police and report him, so that all went against me. It's so unfair. But Roman Hines has been found guilty of indecent assault in the past against two backpackers in 2014. There are another 12 women who made a lucky escape, the backpackers he offered lifts to in the lead up to the Salt Creek attack. If they'd accepted his ride, they too could have been fighting for their lives or worse. None of us doubt that this is the end of the story. Like We're all 100% sure there's more to it. Just what comes and when it comes and how it comes, we don't know. Adding to the creepiness of Salt Creek is the fear it may hold a terrible secret. Four years ago, Roman Hines stopped here at the roadhouse to stock up on supplies for another fishing and camping trip at the beach. Witnesses saw him with a young blonde woman they assumed was a backpacker. Two days later, when Roman Hines left Salt Creek and again stopped here on his way out, there was no sign of the young woman. Where do you think she is today? Um, as much as I hate to say it, I think she's under the sand somewhere. Um, out there in Salt yeah, Creek? Over on that beach somewhere. Without knowing who she is, it's difficult, but police told Adam they would investigate the woman's whereabouts. For Beatrice, nearly two years on, life is in Brazil. And would you describe yourself as happy at the moment? Is it a good life? I think it's, there is your ups and downs, you know, but generally I think I like, I think I'm in a good stage of my life where I, can travel. But Beatrice also knows she's been deeply affected by the perversions of Roman Hines, as does her partner, James. What is your greatest concern about what she's been through? What do you worry about most? I feel like for her, a piece of her has been stolen, you know, and it's just not fair for her. Um, I just want her happiness, really. and. I'm concerned about the difficulty she has, yeah, just day to day. I prefer not to be outside after sunset 
as I just don't feel comfortable, I don't feel safe anymore. If I, if I see someone on the street, I start thinking that they might be following me. Or it's just sometimes it's a bit crazy, but I just can't control. The last time Beatrice and Lena spent time together was earlier this year at the trial of Roman Hines in Adelaide. They were once again united and courageous as Hines was found guilty of all charges against him, apart from the attempted murder of Lena. He will spend at least 17 years behind bars, where, if he has any insight, he'll forever regret taking on these two phenomenal women. This one is for you. <laughs> when you think of Roman Hines today, what do you think? I just think he is just like a sick person. I'm happy that he won't harm other people, so I'm happy. That's that's it, you know. I don't want to have any bad feelings, because any bad feeling that I have, it's going to affect me and just me. So it's not worth it. Did you know that you had that fight within you? Did you know that when it came down to having to save yourself, that you would be so good at it? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I had no idea that this was inside me, that I had such a strength and energy to do all those things. Such a strength and energy. Yeah. So that's a good point about the whole story that I found out about myself that I'm uh, able to do to do something like that in a really difficult situation.